All right, what's up everybody? This is Rob Shack. So today we're gonna to be doing the next uh, race in my Burnout 3 takedown series. Help me get to a thousand subs. Trying to get there soon. Only 7% of y'all are watching, or subs. So we're doing Burnout 3 takedown. If you're new to the channel, I've been playing this game for a while now. Doing a face-off. These are my least favorite mode in the game because it's just not as good as a race or as good as anything else in the game because you're literally only fighting one person. It's kind of boring, honestly. And so we'll just kind of... We'll just kind of make this work as best as we can. So, yeah. Burnout 3 is incredible. Everything about this game is so good. Face-off is only decent. The thing about this game is that the face-off is not bad. If this mode was in another game, it wouldn't be terrible. But it's the fact that everything else in this game is so good. That's what makes it, like, kind of shocking. Um, it's just because this mode is so simple. Like, you have literally... It's... A, it's a race between you and one guy when the whole point of this game is to destroy as many things as possible and then you have a race where you're only racing against one person it's not very fun because you just have to like it's not worth it for me to boost away from him because he's just gonna come right back and like that's fine when you have multiple cars because then y'all all are just it's just chaos and they're hitting each other and everything but like with his little thing being red, he's just gonna chase me down anyway, and he's gonna come flying up super fast, even though he doesn't have any boost because I've destroyed him like a ton of times here. He's just gonna come right up behind me and start trying to pass me. And then now he's there and he's flying now. And so I'm like, how is he going that fast given that I've destroyed him twice? Like, how is he going? Look how fast he's going. It's like rubber banding is great in this game because you can destroy cars but it's pretty broken when you just are racing against one person because like what am i supposed to do here like he is flying and i'm trying with all my abilities to keep up with this guy okay, at least now he's slowed down finally let's hit him here push him off to the side he just somehow came fly how did he even do that he just like came at me at a weird side angle um but yeah it's it's great I mean, the mechanics of this game are fantastic. They're not bad at all. But it's just the the fact that he is... You're really racing just one other car. And they keep gaining on you no matter what. And you only have one lap, which is fine. It's not the end of the world to have one lap. But then you're like, well, I have one lap to, like, hold this guy off. But I don't even know where, like, I'm supposed to go. I don't know when the lap ends. So it's like, I'm just going to kind of, like keep my boost as long as I can because I know he's coming yeah there he is okay so I just destroyed him again fortunately it's easy to take them down with this car because this car any car that has a high weight and speed is like incredible so um just slow it up a little bit take it to the right side of the road here like I mean this is what makes this mode stressful is like he's right there every second and then I just came right into a wall so now let's see how freaking far ahead he gets like one mistake and then now he's probably like seven thousand seconds ahead of me and i lost part of my little burnout thingy but that's not the end of the world when that happens but like yeah how am i supposed to even like is he gone is it over i mean i might as well just like restart because i made one mistake so i can't even see him where is he Yeah, we're restarting. Screw it. See, and this and this is why this mode is kind of terrible. Is because the the rubber banding is so strong in face off that you're just like, you you might as well not say like, you only you have to play defensively in a mode in a game that promotes being active. Like, that's dumb. <laughs> you have to literally not boost ever, and just wait for him to try to catch up to you, and then just destroy him. And then when he flies by you with a broken rubber banding system, then you have to try to do that, you know? And there's, like, the cars popping out of nowhere. But, again, this stuff isn't a problem when you have, like, four cars in the game. Like, look how fast... Did you see how fast he just caught up to me? Like... It, okay, is he done? Did he just die? I hope that's just the end. If he just gets stuck in that wall... He didn't technically crash. So if he's, like, 50,000 seconds ahead of me... Or if I get, like, really, really far ahead of him, then I'll know. Nope, there he is. I see him. I see him coming up behind me. I was hoping that would just be the end of it. Like, okay, he glitched. He's done. But no. Here he comes. 
Well, is he coming? I saw his little dot. I saw his little arrow. I mean, hey, maybe he's just broken because the game doesn't know how to deal with... That was a contradictory... I just got a two seconds ahead indicator and a he's right on my tail indicator. Those two things don't seem to go well together. But, um, this car is also pretty slow. I think it's just because it's got the high weight. It doesn't actually accelerate to its, like, top speed pretty much ever. But I'm just going to kind of just practice my drifts. I mean, assuming eventually he is going to come up here and try to mess with me. Like, I doubt that he's just going to, like, not be here. Keep on working on my drifts. It's pretty fun. But where... Okay, so he is still... He's still there. He's still two seconds behind me. It's not like he's still stuck back there. But I'm just kind of looking at him like, dude, what are you doing? Are you having some trouble back there? Because there was no other car. There was very few cars on the road. I see him. Okay, now he's coming up really fast. Here he comes. Yeah, again, it's like, I don't, I can't predict when he's going to suddenly just come flying up really fast. And now he's, he's not really doing it. And so now I'm still, that makes me nervous. Like, is he just going to do that at the last second? And then I won't be able to stop him? I'm gaining on him. I'm losing him. Haven't boosted. I've only taken him out once. So now I'm gonna break here. I'm actually gonna try to like not mess up. Because he seems like I don't I don't know what's going on with him. I think I broke him. Broke the AI on this level right now because ever since he hit that wall, he's been like totally screwing up. And that's fine. So Oh shoot, I just went right into a wall there. So if he's in front of me, I'm gonna be pissed. He is right next to me, okay. It said he, uh, wait, what? It said I was in second for like a minute, like for just a little bit there. But I, I don't see him anymore. So I don't, I don't know what's going on in this race. Again, Burnout's an incredible game, but Face Off is by far the worst part of the game because it doesn't really make any sense. Is he, is he here? Oh, there he is, okay. I did see him. Yeah, there he is, okay. Again, I don't really know. I don't know what's going on with it. But I'm just gonna take the outside line here. I mean, he seems like he's having a lot of trouble right now. Last race, his AI was like completely busted and he was flying really, really quick through every corner and every place. So I'm like, maybe they're just making it up to me because that was really annoying and that led to me losing. I wasn't a fan of how he did that, but I'm just gonna like practice my drifts. I got a three-star one earlier. That was pretty cool. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on this time. It's fine, though. I'm not going to complain. I'm just curious. I mean, I have been complaining about this mode in general, but him being, like, stuck two seconds behind me is, like, the weirdest... That's the weirdest thing. Like, how is that even a possibility? Okay, well, I'll just crash into that. So, is he in front of me yet? Okay, he's still behind me. How is he still behind me? Like, every race I've ever done in this game, if there, if you crash once, it's just, like, over. So, I don't know what happened to him, but ever since he hit that wall, he has been struggling to keep up with me, even though I'm literally not even boosting or going that fast. I, like, actually am breaking. I don't know what's going on. Still two seconds ahead. It's good. I mean, I feel like I've always just been two seconds ahead of him, which, again, I'll, I'll take it. I'll just stay on the oncoming lane of traffic now. Why not? Get some near misses. Work on... Because I'm not getting any takedowns, so I might as well just, like, keep driving on the wrong side of the road here. Yeah. No, my longest incoming was that in there. So, that was really strange. I mean, I'm not going to complain, because I really... I really don't like the, uh takedown or face off mode it's not very fun so anytime the ai does a weird buggy thing where now i'm able to just like kind of coast through the race i will take it because i would rather do race or eliminator eliminator's fun takedown is really good road rage is good everything is really fantastic in this game we got a new car it looks like the car that he was in and it is the dominator muscle looks cool
I got no money for that one, and I don't really care. Again, I don't... I, races like that are so not enjoyable to me that I'm like, ah, that's fine. That's completely fine. All right, well, that was it for this. Thank you all for watching, and hope you all had a good time watching this.